YouTube bracket? He's going to Hawaii oh, uh, okay. that weekend. I believe KCON is happening. Uh, oh, that's and he's right, going that's and right. he's going early, so he won't be able to make it to Breakthrough Two. It's a darn shame because <laughs> I, okay, yes, I know he was number one in Hawaii, but I think they would have let him enter because Hawaii is a very small region. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but definitely one of my wild card picks that I was talking about with that one writer is Tatanator. I put him in my top eight as a wild card. Yeah. Tatanator, as of late, you know, he's kind of one of those crazy players that plays really interesting with Bowser Jr. And he has such a play style that I feel that it can be really frustrating against a lot of players. If they're not ready for it, you know, they will suffer the consequences of getting hit by side B and getting hit by up air like several times. So Tatanator is a very smart player with how he plays uh, Bowser Jr. Especially in his card play as well, especially on the stage and off the stage. I do put him in my wild card. I wouldn't put all my money in that man, but I will say I wouldn't be surprised if he caught some upsets in somebody's uh, fantasy bracket. Yep. Okay, here we go. Looks like they're starting off with uh, Town and City. Of course, Korean, um, one of our foxes here in SoCal. Land of foxes, land of uh, Mennonites, etc. All right, let's get into it. Now, of course, uh, what you're going to see a lot in the neutral for Bowser Jr. specifically is there's going to be a lot of mix-ups out of the side card, either like a jump or a jump back air, jump down air, like a d lot of different mix-ups out of that. Or footstools, potentially, and catch the spot dodge with that force smash. Okay, nice. I like how Tanya to go off the thing. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> off the cart, trying to go for a back air because Korean was in a high recovery mode. But I know Korean looking for those empty hops, even a possible back air out there, but Tanya was able to suck that out. Yeah. Try to go for a gamble there on that ledge trap, just trying to catch an up smash on a neutral getup. Didn't quite come to fruition, but still, Terranator just oppressing Korean, not letting him return to the neutral. And that was almost unfortunate. I was expecting Terranator to immediately react with the back air, but went for the safe up air instead. Good option still. <laughs> oh man, what a trade. Almost uh, oh. took him off the top with that hammer. Oh wow, barely getting hit by that sour spot of that up forward smash, I'm so sorry. Okay, didn't even need the hammer after the Bowser <laughs> card bomb to be able to kill the stock. Just just the bomb alone was enough. Nice, gets that down there, tries to follow with that grab. That invincibility is still coming in a clutch for Korean. King Air is off the stage, this is his edge gun opportunity, and he's unable to take that, and he finds himself in a sour spot. That happened so quickly, <laughs> and I, I, I ex assumed that he was trying to do like a runoff there or something to be able to catch a stage spike, but it just didn't come together, unfortunately. So Taylor will take that very quickly. I mean, this is why I tell you, man, he's my wild card pick for the Breakthrough 2 bracket. I mean, this man is quite the crazy player with his Bowser Jr. I'm curious to see. I'm curious what his tag, the level 15, means because if I were to take a wild guess, I'd say that the, one of the jokes is that Terranator <laughs> looks like. Uh, a level 15 Pokemon, and then AIM is the, the evolution of him, but I, I'm just going <laughs> to move on from that no, already. That, that's, that's well said. That's well said. <laughs> it, that does. Okay. He's going to get a grab. Up throw. Potentially a juggle situation. No, I, but I feel, I'm so sorry. I, I, I want to talk about that for a quick minute. I feel that Aimer is like that evolution that you have to give uh, Terminator Stone. <laughs> like you have to give, you have to give me customs so that you know Aimer can get a lot better. You know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well said as well. Okay, but so far both of these two keeping it even. Uh, already approaching uh, 870, 80 percent. But here we go. I mean, Fox can do wow. up but Terminator can do exactly that right back with those hammers into the finisher off the top. I mean, that was quite the hammer time play for Tanator, and he found all those confirms. Speaking of hammer time, what a pressure already on that middle platform. But Korean trying to snipe out with that up smash. Yeah. Korean ha has the opportunity to make the comeback. This is a... Okay, I like that. Okay, I want to quickly talk about that. Tanator does that so often, and that was a good coverage, because if Korean went for the side B and he got hit by that, it would have popped him up, and Tanator would have been able to get an up air with that. So that was quite a little bit of a trap play coming out from Tanator. Yeah. Looks like so far, Tanator has just been able to get so much of a punishing off whiff. I mean, most of the time, Foxes are used to, used to having a lot of their moves be safe, on even on whiff, but uh, Terranator is just able to catch them at the exact right time. And it looks like he's throwing off Korean off of his radar so far. All right, Korean back on the stage. He could, uh, tough spot for Korean. He has 114. If he can take out the stock, you can probably start looking for a cut play against Tater. Able to find that grab. This is an edge guard opportunity. Could be in the cards for him. Like that patience, try to get find that get up option. Yeah. That is something. Okay, well, the up smash will take it. But I want to talk about that recovery real quick. Is that um, Lilat does.